I never thought I would say this, but uh, football is over. Oh. So, <laughs> so we bring you uh, the last review, the real review of uh, the season. Uh, hopefully, you know, we'll bring you more next year. Uh, we made a little adjustment, a little change. Uh, before you do anything, give us a like and subscribe. It's possible. Uh, you know, we've been doing the good, the bad, and the ugly. But we kind of thought that there was um, too much negativity <laughs> instead of uh, too much positivity, <laughs> which is what we want to do now. So we're going to bring you an A+, plus, a, plus. a pass. A pass. You know, uh, which is like a C. Which is like a C and a fail. A fail. Like a D minus. Or just All right. an F. Uh, just an F, yeah, that's true. So, uh, so let's go with the A plus, the pass, and the fail. Okay, the A plus uh, for us and for all Madridistas, and in general, I think uh, it's fair to give it to Portugal. Yes. And uh, especially to our players, Cristiano and Pepe. So, uh, A plus for them? A plus for them. I mean, they're coming off an amazing, well, especially Cristiano and Pepe, but they're coming off an amazing season winning the Champions League, now being the champions of Europe for their national team. So, big ups to Portugal, A plus for them for making their way to this final, which was a little bit unpredicted, and, and winning the final from a, with a great goal, a golazo from Emir, so. Yeah, exactly, and I think this for us is good because it's gonna, I think, well, I don't know if Cristiano needs another boost, boost. No, but, but I it's mean, definitely gonna give him something to come certainly. in with more uh, illusion or more expectations or higher hopes yeah. for the next season, and that's definitely great for us. Definitely great for us. I mean, this is, I think this was like one of the things that he was hoping to finally get. I mean, losing that final against Greece was painful enough as it was, and, and not generally faring that well in, in World Cups. So I think finally winning something with his, with his national team was, we could tell the passion on the sideline. You saw him when he was on the field crying, when he was on the sideline jumping up like the second coach. I mean, you could tell that this is something you really wanted. So, so A plus for Pepe and Cristiano and for all Portugal. A pass, uh, that you know, it's a pass because it's kind of started as a fail, hmm. but it ended up being a pass. Uh, it was for the security in the end of the Euro, yeah. you know, it, uh, when it all started, it, it looked like it was going to be a lot more hectic yeah. uh, with the threats of some attacks, even with the hooligans, it all started very chaotically. But uh, I think at the end, they, uh, they got their, their stuff right stuff. and uh, it all ended very well. Yeah, I mean, I think we, we all started a little bit conscious or, or worried maybe about what could happen in France, especially with the recent attacks. Um, questions about where they, are they going to be able to to secure something of this this size and and then we had the there were talks about some teams that were going to be kicked out of the competition right. maybe at some point there was even the paranoia that the competition is going to be suspended mm. but in the end it was yeah. a, a party of football a football party thanks to ireland man. not really on the pitch not much of a football party on the pitch but definitely for the fans it ended up being a great thing yeah. so a pass for the security and our fail our fail our fail is for argentinian coach Marcelo Bielsa, v, tell us what he did, which is just a Well, he signed fail. for Lazio, for the uh, Italian team Lazio, and uh, it, it's also a, a very big fail because it's not the first time he's done it. He's done it with Espanyol before, uh, with Atletic de Bilbao, and then it wasn't really good. And the fact that, you know, he signed this contract, he was going to kind of, you know, bring some, uh, some quality to Lazio uh, and the Serie A. And two days after, two days. apparently because he was called by the Argentina national team, which hasn't yet been confirmed, <laughs> Uh, you know, he just like bailed on them. Hmm. He's like, all right, guys, the Argentinian national team is calling me, so that kind go. of uh, forgives, you know, anything I can do. So hmm. uh, I'm leaving and I'm kind of uh, leaving everything yeah. here. That's really lame. I so, mean, yeah, so it's really lame. So a uh, fail, fail for, for Marcelo Bielsa, for you. Uh, so Galacticos, let us know what's your A+, plus, your pass and the fail of the week, of the two weeks, of the year, of, of the life, if of you want. Life. And uh, follow me uh, to see what the press has to say today. Ah, the real news, the real news, uh, you know, it is not necessarily news, but it is real. So uh, let's go with Marca. Marca, you know, opens up, well, this was yesterday's cover about, you know, the aftershock of the Eurocopa, the Euro Cup, Portugal winning it. It says a little bit of a tick to Real Madrid. It says uh, Portugal, it is not a dream anymore. It is now Real, it is real, it is Real, you know, you, you get that. Huh? So, of course, a picture of the Portuguese players celebrating in a very... Uh, you know, maybe unexpected turn of events, uh, but well deserved. Definitely, a lot of people will start saying like, "Ah, oh, yeah, Portugal is not the fair champion." But you know, I think the fair champion is the champion. They, they had, they won the games they had to win, and that was it. Uh, in the same kind of line as goes with Portugal, you know, as, as any responsible newspaper should do, just put the cover of a team celebrating and say, "Portugal are the champions." 
You know, you can question if, if they were the better team in the tournament, if they played the most beautiful football, whatever. But in the end, the truth is they, again, you know, they won their games. And, and then you think, oh, some people are saying they had the easy way to the final. Not really, because in the final they beat France, who had, in my opinion, beat Germany, the strongest team, who had beat Italy, another of the strongest team, who had beat Spain. So like, what else do you want? But you know, really all this real news today is to talk about this cover of sport. Uh, it's, all, it's all, you know, a, a, a facade, a deceptive facade to talk about this cover. Uh, and to me, it's just the perfect sign or signal of sore losing, taking to a, you know, I don't know what level. Um, like this is gonna sport, just saying, Gloria de Portugal without Cristiano. Like for them, it's, it's more important that Cristiano didn't score goals, that it was not about Cristiano, that Cristiano wasn't relevant. So, they, 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 you know, they couldn't just say Portugal won it and, and then they all go dwelling in this like Cristiano was not relevant, which, you know, then I, I think like, do you not understand football? Like a tournament is, like this tournament was seven games. No, it's not just the final. Just because the fact that Cristiano didn't play the whole final or was not relevant in the final, doesn't mean that he was not relevant for the tournament. You know, he scored some important goals. It's true that he didn't shine in some games, but you know, to, uh, to deny that Cristiano is, a, is, is an important or a core part of this team that has just won the Euro Cup, it's just being blind and stupid. But of course, you know, our friends in sport, they, uh, they take pride or take joy in uh, whatever that can, you know, they throw on Cristiano. It's like, yeah, they won it, but without Cristiano, so that's even better. Uh, anyway, you know, uh, sport. Thank you for uh, lessons uh, on, in, uh, you know, responsible journalism. Thank you again. So, uh, well, Galacticos, you know, uh, it's not that we're saying that Marca, Nas are all this, uh, but somehow, uh, when it comes to this, uh, you know, things, they're better. They're better than sport. I think, you know, if I had my newspaper, it'd be better than sport. But anyway, Galacticos, let, let us know what you think, uh, you know, about the press, uh, and uh, we'll see you in the follow and follow. Well, after that, uh, I think I'm getting a call on my phone from uh, Sport to offer me a job. <laughs> after all the praise I give them for uh, the good journalism that they practice. But anyway, let's go with the follow and follow of the week. Ashley, your follow? My follow for this week, and it might be obvious, an obvious one, is for the Portugal hero, Portuguese hero, Eder, who scored a golaza, the game-winning goal of the Euro Cup final. And I, and I like this guy because I was reading a little bit about his story. He was the probably the most underrated player on this squad. Let me interrupt you, Galacticos. Don't go crazy saying like, ah, oh, she follows Eder and not Cristiano. I know you will do that. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, he was uh, probably the most unlikely hero of this, of this championship. Uh, you know, I thought if there was going to be a hero, it was going to be Cristiano. And it, unfortunately, he got injured in, what, the first 10 minutes of the match. And had he not gotten injured, Either probably wouldn't have gotten this chance, but he scored an amazing goal. He sort of had this this uh, hard childhood, struggling in the in the ranks um, on the t on the Portuguese national team. wasn't really rated by by the fans or maybe even by the coach. That I had been saying the whole tournament like, through that he is terrible. Terrible. I mean, he's not the most agile, a little bit clumsy, but he gave France a, uh, in in the final. He gave France a hard time. He was extremely physical. He wasn't scared to take the ball, and that that was an amazing goal from outside the box. So you know. Kudos to you, Eder. That was an amazing goal. And actually, this is what I, I really like this. Um, it was uh, from Nike football campaign that showed up on their Instagram account, but it has a picture of him. Uh, we'll show you the, the picture. And it says, unleash the strike that writes history. Make them believe. So I think that, that's right. very, very cool. So give him a follow. Follow for Eder. My follow is for, uh, I don't know the name or the account or whatever, but it's for that little kid. I'm sure you've seen the video. Uh, of that little kid with a Portuguese jersey outside the game, uh, kind of consoling this French guy who was, uh, you know, just crying inconsolably. Mm. And uh, this little kid is kind of like pulling him and saying like, hey man, are you all right? Are you all right? And, and the guy looks down, sees the little kid, he doesn't know what to do. And then the kid looks up and is like, you know, give me a hug. And they end up hugging. I, I thought it was beautiful. It's kind of a, you know, one of the things that says in the end football is football. football. You know, it stops on the pitch. It starts and stops on the pitch. And outside, you know, you can be happy or sad, but you know, life goes on. And I think this is probably visually the most beautiful example it, of that. It was very uh, sweet. Yeah, it was very sweet. So, uh, you know, and uh, unfollow. Like, unfollow. My unfollow also might be an obvious one, and it's one that Iñaki said is for Barcelona Football Club Barcelona. I think it is embarrassing this uh, campaign that they've released. The hashtag uh, Somos Leo Messi, or what is we it? We are all Leo we are Messi. All, we are Leo Messi. Trying to support him through this. If you guys haven't followed, been following, he hasn't paid his taxes and he owes a four million euro in taxes to the Spanish government. And he was sentenced to jail time, and him and his father. 
And he's not going to go to jail. He's not going to go to jail, obviously, because because he's Lionel Messi. But I, I don't know if his father will. But the whole idea behind we need to support this this footballer because he's the best footballer, and we are all with you is ridiculous. I mean, yeah, I think this whole like no unconditional one, right. support, like which I don't no, agree I, at all. I, I fully disagree. I think. No one is above the law. It doesn't matter if you're a great footballer or a politician or a movie star or whatever you are. You're not better than me. The regular people, we all pay taxes. You don't get to be exempt from this just because you're a, good football, you're a player. football player. And, and then there's this whole like portray him as like, oh, poor guy, he's gonna have to pay a bailout of four million when he makes 80 every year. You know, I, I just think it's very sad right. and unfortunate and really wrong from wrong. Uh, Barcelona, so uh, I agree. I, I totally agree with you saying it. I think this was the wrong stance to, to take to, to try and blind the fans to say we all need to be behind Messi. No, this is you. You're a criminal, or I don't know. Someone tricked you. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but but you didn't pay your taxes. You need to do your civil duty and pay your taxes. You're just like us. Sorry. Uh, that's the thing, you know. Like people say, like, oh, he needs support. He needs no. no. What he needs to do is pay, pay his, his taxes, taxes and move on, and that's what's gonna happen. So you know, it's not like we were following Barcelona. No. But unfollow. But if for I Barcelona. was, I would un major unfollow. And my unfollow is for you English speakers. Uh, maybe you wanna train some of your Spanish. Go to sport and read this. This is this. this uh, Pseudo journalist oh. uh, Luis Marti, who writes with a magic pen in the sport, and, and he writes this article today, very it's sore ridiculous. loser, like kind of desperate, saying like, please do not give the Ballon d'Or to Cristiano, please, whatever. And it's the most desperate article you can. The most like, desperate. The it says are... eight reasons why Cristiano Ronaldo shouldn't win the Ballon d'Or. You know, we might agree or not that he was the best in the season, that he might not, or or he might or might not deserve the Ballon d'Or, but the article and you know the the, the intention of this article. And, and the reasons. The reason number one is like, oh, he didn't shine in the Champions League final. It's like, so who do you want to give the Ballon d'Or to? Messi? Well, Messi didn't shine in the Champions League final either. He didn't oh, even play. He wasn't there. You know, uh, Luis Suarez, same thing. So, you know, that, that argument doesn't hold. And, hmm. and then the second is like, he just tries to say like, oh, he was not relevant in the final of the Euro Cup uh, because he because got he injured, injured. <laughs> in, in the minute eight. He, he got injured. It's like he was walking and like, you know, maybe kicked a, a pole on or something and he was injured. It's not like he was actually injured right. by another player right. with a terrible foul. But, you know, still like go and read it, you know, uh, if don't not, look for a translation, but it is just... It's honestly the most ridiculous piece of journalism that I've ever read, trying to take credit away from him and the reasons are, I mean those reasons are ridiculous as it is, but there's other ones that I'm reading, I'm like, is this They're even seriously? worse? Are these even real reasons to, to try and take away the fact that... Like Real Madrid had an easy way to the to final, the, the same as Portugal had an easy way to the final. Yeah, that was one of the stupid ones Not counting too. that, you know, they beat France and like, what, what was hardest? They, they beat France who beat Germany, like what do you want? Anyway, unfollow for sport and all the, all the clan there. And uh, yeah, that was our uh, review of the week. You know, the A plus pass, fail, follow and follow. Let us know what was your all these things of the all week, if you agree or not. Uh, give us a like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you. In a while. We'll see you in a while. Yeah, well, we're, we're not the, gonna see you in a month. From the Real Review. In a <laughs> no, while. we're lying. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>